And we are back with our live coverage of governorship election in Ekiti State. Results, as we speak, are now arriving at the INEC office in Adoikiti, where final coalition is expected to happen. And uh, afterwards, there will be declaration of results and indeed the winner of the much-talked-about Ekiti State governorship election. Uh, we're looking forward to a more speedy process, given um, how things have panned out since morning. Uh, we are told that INEC officials and election materials arrived quite early in some 75% of the polling units across the 16 local government areas of AKT State. We now begin to find out how much his, has changed, particularly with the use of the beavers. And now that we are seeing the first governorship election to run on the provisions of the amended Electoral Act 2022. There are a few things that are happening now. We're joined with our correspondents in Adoe Kitty to find out precisely um, at what point we are in the collation process of this particular election. But um, it's indeed a long process when you talk about the election itself, it begins with the primary election within the political parties, and then you have a campaign. You have a campaign amongst the candidates uh, that leads us into the voting exercise itself. But the election doesn't stop there. Right after the voting, we now have a collation, which we're about to witness now at the state level. Thereafter, the returning officer will declare the result and also announce who is returned elected. Uh, the collation itself is a tabulation or what they call a summation of vote cards at an election and for a state governorship election like this it seemed quite a long process it begins with the presiding officers at the polling units um, sending results to the ra or the ward coalition officer and then the ward coalition officer collates and then sent this results to the local government area coalition officer thereafter from the lg officer the collated results are sent to the state returning officer. And we're expected to see this play out from all the 16 local government areas in Nikiti, where the results that have been sorted and counted at those levels are now sent to the state returning officer in Adoe KT. The returning officer collects those results from the local government collision centers, declares the result, and then returns the winner as elected for the state. And that's the process we're seeing through. We're back at it yet again. Uh, we have seen the voting itself. Many said it wasn't quite interesting for a state that has been, that has had a history of violent election. Many have applauded this process as being an improvement from what we witnessed some four years ago, particularly the performance of INEC as the umpire. And perhaps also what we have seen now to be um, an improvement in the exercise itself, the early arrival of materials, the improvement as regards to the beavers, even though there are pockets of a delay here and there, but in most of the polling units that we monitored earlier in the day, it, it seemed to have been hitch free and INEC is going to receive some commendation in the coming days, particularly as we now see how this process itself will begin to wind down. One of the tech homes would be the fact that this is the first governorship election on the new Electoral Act. And we might now see precisely how the electronic transmission of results will work. Because the way it is right now, parties can begin to track the results real time from this election. Each polling unit will have to paste the result and then it is electronically transmitted to the center. And we expect to find out that that process will be transparent. L let's turn you over to Adoe Kitty right now where we'll find out precisely at what, what level we are with the coalition. We have Dr. Mutin Akoke. Let the Lord is here to join us. We have Sadiq A. Musa. Let the Lord is here to join us. We have Sadiq A. Musa. Let the Lord is here to join us. We have Sadiq A. Musa. Let the Lord is here to join us. We have Sadiq A. Musa. Let the Lord is here to join us. We have Sadiq A. Musa. Let the Lord is here to join us. We have Sadiq A. Musa. Let the Lord is here to join us. 
This is something the AG and the Executive Secretary and a director in the commission. You are welcome, Madam. Mr. AG is the Director Electoral Operation. You are most welcome. AID Garba, you are recognized, sir. You are welcome. Thank you so much. We also have, in our midst, the HODs, you are most welcome. And at this point, we move to item number three, which is welcome address by the Red Institute. Well, things are getting set right now at the INEC headquarters in Adoikiti, where we expect to have all the LGA uh, coalition officers begin to come in with their votes and have them tabulated and um, also uh, declaring their results by the state returning officer. We understand that the returning officer for this particular election is from the Premier University of Ibada. Uh, I, I believe it's Professor Kaudi Uyibode Adebowale, and on whose shoulder will rest the responsibility of now returning as elected, the next governor elect of a Kiti state. A lot has been said about this particular exercise. Uh, when you look at precisely how parties are fed before the election, um, election observers at some point reported pockets of violence and um, um, financial inducement. But a lot of that seemed to have changed. The moment where candidates um, signed the peace accord, and we seem to have seen also how security operatives um, performed pretty well. Over 17,000 police officers, um, close to 9,000 NSCDs officials, not to talk about um, uh, several other security agencies that also were well represented in AKT. Many believe this is a litmus test, not only for INEC, but for every other stakeholder as we count down to the big one in 2023. It is yet another opportunity to perfect the processes and also perhaps give Nigerians hope in the process of electing uh, the next president of Nigeria. We're beginning to see just how well the new electoral law will perform and indeed the impact that it will have on the quality of the process and indeed the credibility of our elections going forward. Many have said that this is what we need to improve the process, particularly the electronic transmission of results, one of the new uh, updated uh, a version of this particular document is the fact that only accredited numbers will now determine uh, what we know as over voting in election. And that's a big game changer uh, for elections like this at a time where we're just brandishing figures around. Uh, of course, there is one thing to understand the number of registered voters in an election, but indeed it is those who turn out for that exercise that should determine how things uh, move on going forward. We'll also begin to look out for the figures. There's been reported high turnout of voters um, since the beginning of this exercise, but we need to now begin to compare the number of accredited voters, the number of real votes, and begin to measure it side by side with the number of registered voters in AKT, which is um, less than one million as we speak. Uh, it, there's a lot of talk about the implication of voter apathy on the integrity of this system, a situation where we've had less than 50 percent of registered voters determine who becomes the elected uh, official in an election. We're hoping that things would change for this one, where it seems that we had good weather you know, relatively, and it was peaceful, relatively to what we used to report from Ikiti. And we're hoping that this would inspire more people to come out. But we cannot confirm that yet until we begin to put these figures side by side and understand how people really turned out in Ikiti. It's also another, you know, another exciting figure 
or a, a worthy of note improvement in Ekiti is the fact that we're seeing this staggered election, which will continue in Osho, uh, begin to measure up. You know, uh, Many people will say, well, it's a litmus test. We'll see how INEC is performing, but it also will not really tell INEC's preparedness ahead of the big one, because it, in 2023, it will be more or less a nationwide exercise where elections are taking place in almost every part of Nigeria at the same time. So security personnel, for instance, will not have, you know, the luxury of the figures in a concentrated area part time. And that's when, you know, the big one will happen. And we'll see if our system can now begin to withstand the pressure of the people coming out and the number of things happening together at once. But all eyes on AKT as we speak, and we're beginning to find out how the people have voted, if they are returning the incumbent party, or if we're going to see a shocker like we've seen in previous times. It's been an interesting exchange of power in AKT. When you look at it from 1999, it began with the AD and then it moved to the PDP. At some point, the APC returned to power and then the PDP came back. And, you know, the Electorate in Ekiti have been quite interesting in their choice in previous years. Which is EC48, if there is any. Thank you very much. Well, while we're waiting for things to kick start in earnest at the INEC headquarters in Adoekiti, let's remind you of a few things that transpired earlier during this election. We have reported earlier arrival of materials, and unlike in previous election, we didn't see much of logistic error or logistic challenges with the uh, Independent National Electoral Commission. It's been quite a relatively peaceful exercise, and we'll bring you some, some sounds uh, and some sight. Okay, we're told now that the coalition is about to begin in earnest. Uh, we'll take you back to INEC headquarters in Adwekiti where we'll see things for ourselves and precisely how the voters have decided this time. No from the field. Thank you very much, sir. I am a professor of botany from the University of Ibadan. I am the coalition officer for Ijuru, local government. In this local government, we have 12 registration areas. The EO should also introduce herself, please. Thank you very much, sir. The total number of registered uh, uh, voters is. 5,828. One after the other. Six. Please, one after the other. 17455. 1, 1, 2. All right. 65328. 65328. Number of registered. Let us accredited them. Uh, voters 25103 25103 votes received by parties party A 08 AAC 32 ADC Nine six ADP two zero one APC one three seven. 
seven five four. APDA three three. APM one six. APP eight two. LP one six. NNPP four eight. NRM one seven. PDP four eight nine seven. PRP eight seven. SDP five zero zero six. YPP five nine. ZLP one eight. Total valid votes two four three seven zero. Two four three seven zero. Rejected votes seven zero zero. Rejected votes seven zero zero. Total votes cast two five zero seven zero. Two five zero seven zero. We had no case of cancelled um, election in the war in the local government, but we had nine voters who had disabilities, seven males and two females, making a total of nine. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Party agents are also represented here. Please know that there should be one party agent per party. And therefore, it is not allowed that a party agent represent more than one party. We want them also to introduce themselves. So just from party A, AAC, I think you know AGC. Okay. Party A. Party AAC. Party ADC. Good evening, my name is Sandra This one is here starting for ADC party events. Thank you very much. Party ADP. My name is Musa Arubradi. Party APC. Party PDP, Party SDP, Barrister Ochenia, here is my name. I'm representing Social Democratic Party. Party YPP, and finally, Party ZLP. Thank you. We now invite 
the next local government for for the please we want the party agents also to be active so after the presentation if you have any comments on the results that has been presented please you can come up with it thank you the next local government area is Emure. Coalition officer for Emure local government area. Please go ahead, and uh, the electoral officer should also introduce himself. I am Bamidele Oluwolabi, a professor of analytical and environmental. I'm sorry. I am Bamidele Oluwolabi, a professor of analytical and environmental chemistry, University of Ibadan. I am Ibrahim Ghani, a lecturer with Emory Presentation, please. Please go ahead. I'm presenting the results for Emory local government. There are 10 wards in Emory local government. Number of registered voters 37123. Number of accredited voters, 14509. A party, four. AAC, one five. ADC, eight one. ADP, Nine two APC seven seven two eight APGA Abga one four APM one six APP seven zero LP one Three N N P P one three N R M one nine P D P two six one zero P R P two four SDP three four four five YPP four one ZRP one two total valid votes one four one nine seven rejected votes Three zero four total votes cast one four five zero one. We don't have any EC forty G. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, uh Party agent that wants to ask you, please uh, give him the microphone. Very star watching against my name. I'm representing SDP. Uh, my first request is that uh, uh, um, of this election result, only the one for Adola local government. 
copies of this result. If you don't have copies of the result, it will be possible for us to make comments. Second, I want to remark, and it will be worse, that we have issues. SDP should contest in all the local governments, but we will not be raising the specifics, but we just want to make that remark that the news on vote by on a lot of election man practices violates eventually all the local government. Hello, it's not all you are saying is not for this meeting. Your party agent should be on ground to collect the result. So if it's not on ground, you can't manufacture it. Thank you very much. Thank you. That is my remark, sir. Thank you. We now call the third equity Southwest. Good morning, everybody. All protocol duly observed. My name is Gola Gade Jonathan, professor of mycology and applied microbiology, University of Ibadan. I am Dada Emmanuel, electoral officer. It is Southwest local government. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. In AKT Southwest local government, we have 11 ward. Yes, 11 ward. The number of registered voters number of registered voters that we have we have 53713 53713 number of accredited voters, we have 19982, 19982. I will now uh, call the votes received by each party. Party A had three votes. Party A had three votes. Party A, A, C recorded 22 votes. Two, 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 two votes. Party A, A, C, two, two votes. Party A, D, C had one, zero, zero votes. One zero zero foot. Party ADP had one nine five votes. Party ADP had one nine five votes. Party APC had nine six seven nine votes. 9679 votes for APC. Party Abga had 24 votes, 24 votes. 24 votes. Party APM 
recorded one zero votes, one zero votes, ten votes. Party APP had one seven zero votes, one seven zero votes, one seventy. Party LP had one four votes, fourteen votes. Party NNPP had three zero votes, thirty votes. Party NRM recorded three three votes, thirty three votes. Party PDP had four four seven four votes, four four. 74 votes. 74. Uh, 74. Party PRP recorded 43 votes. 43 votes. Party SDP had 4577 votes. 4577 votes. Party YPP had 41 votes. Four one votes. Party ZLP had twenty six votes, two six votes. Total valid votes one nine four four one. Total valid votes one nine four four one. Rejected votes five. 502 rejected vote 502 total vote cast 19943 votes total vote cast 19943 votes thank you very much in um, ward 6 we had a record of ballot uh, box snatching. Um, we in unit five and unit seven. In unit five, number of uh, people that collected their uh, PVC that supposed to vote in that center, we have two hundred and sixty-six, and in unit seven. Number of people that are supposed to vote there that had their PVC collected, we have 128. While the electoral people were there waiting, the election was peaceful, everybody was seated, and uh, they were waiting for 2.30 to commence the counting. Some people from nowhere with gone, they arrived, and uh, that's how they started sporadic shooting and everybody lying down and they cutted away the uh, votes that were cast in those two uh, units. That is unit five and unit seven. Thank you very much. Okay, the total number. One, six. Two sixty six plus one twenty eight. Three nine four. Three nine four. So we return as water. 266 plus 128. That's okay. No, you are right. You are right. You are right. Okay. It's 394. Don't worry. 
Are we free to go? You are finished. You are free. Just Thank you very much. Let me have the microphone. Do, do you have any written report? Yes, we, we have. Yes, it's with the record of... You have record of disability? No. No. Okay. Okay. Uh, you need to submit that report. The report and the results. Mr. Dada, Yo, bring, the bring the report, please. Have not signed. Who is going to sign? Your signature. Who is signed? He signed. Who? This is his sign. Okay. Is this signature? Yes. Signature and sign. This is his sign. Okay. This is sign. This is second one. That's the second one. The next local government area is in Kere. Kere local government area. I'm Engineer Emmanuel Ajav from the University of Ibadan, a professor of engineering. I am the coalition officer for Ikere Local Government Area, where we have one one registration areas. One one registration areas. That is eleven. The total number of registered voters in the local government is six five. Six six one, six five, six six one. The total number of accredited voters: two four, one zero nine. Two four, one zero nine. Votes received by various parties. Party A, one six. Party A, one six. Party AAC, four nine. Four nine. Party ADC, three seven six four. Three seven six four. Party ACP three one zero three one zero ACP. Okay, where, where, where are you now? ADC, we have finished. We are now on ACP. No, no, no. AD, ADC is ATP. ADP. 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 Okay, sorry. ADP. Three. You can read from here, sir. Can I go on? Party ADC. Three, seven, six, four. Party ADP, ADP 310. Party APC, 12086. 
APGA 25 Party APN 17 17 Party APP 49 49 Party LP 14 14 Party NNPP 47 47 Party NRM 10 10 Party PDP 3789 PRP 3535 SDP 19 1946 Yes Then YPP 38 38 The last ones ZLP 09 Total valid votes 22201 total valid votes 22201 rejected votes 686 686 now the total votes cast for this local government is 22887 22887 We need to repeat the thing. Are you sure it's correct? Which one? Sorry, sir. Yeah, there's a mistake. Uh, uh, Thank you. Which number? The collection of staff for appearance. He's talking to you. Hello? Listen to you. You will need to repeat. Please start from the beginning again. Start from the beginning. Okay. Okay, start from party A. Which one is this? What is this? You wrote it. Please relax. Relax, relax. Just relax. I'm relaxed. I just want to see the figures very well. Start from Party A. Are you ready? Yes. Go ahead. One six. AAC four nine ADC three seven six four ATP ADP three one zero APC one two zero eight six one two zero eight six APC Two five party Abga Abga APN Abga is two five APM is one seven APP four nine LP one four and then. Four seven. Did you mention the name yeah. of the party? Mention party first mention before the, the vote. N N P P. N N P P. N N P P. Four seven. N R M. N R M. One zero. P D P. P D P. Three seven eight nine. P R P. PRP three five, SDP 
SDP 1943 1943 YPP 38 ZLP 09 Yes, are you going to be So you are okay now. Yes. Valid, please complete. Okay. Go, go ahead. All right. Total valid votes. Yes. Is two 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 zero one. Rejected votes six eight six. Total votes cast two two eight eight seven. Thank you very much. Now we have one case in uh, just one pulling unit. One are no one. Record of cancellation? Yes. Uh, violence, due to violence. One pulling unit. One pulling unit, just one. Unit two of RA8. Unit two of RA08. Hmm? What did the register voters in that place? Seven, Accredited three, 236. No, no, register voters. Registered 731. Okay. 731. Uh, that's okay. 731. Uh, 731. 731. 731. We have the report of the cancellation there. Oh, okay. and sign. Yes, sign. Yes, sign. Yes, sign. Yes, sign. Thank you very much. No disability report. There. Thank you. Next is Ilejemeje, Ilejemeje local government area. APGA 04 
ATGA04, APN05, APN05, APP41, APP41, LP01, LP01, NNPP06, NNPP06, NRN06, NRN06, PDP1157, PDP1157, PRP18, PRP18, SDP2344, SDP2344, YPP04, YPP04, ZLP04, ZLP04, total valid votes, 8223, total valid votes, 8223, number of rejected votes, 135, 135, total vote cards, 8358. TVC 8358. Signed by Professor Adodu Oluadari. And for. I think the battery is bad. Thank you. And signed by. The party agents for ADC, PDP, APC, and SDP. No record of cancellation. No record of cancellation. For the PWD, we have uh, six for the local government. Thank you, sir. Let's have the papers. Drop the microphone, sir. Thank you, sir. Next is MOBA. MOBA local government area. Registered voters 53257. 53257. Number of registered accredited 20743. 20743. Votes received by the parties. A, party A. One three AAC two zero ADC seven five ADP nine four APC one one six zero nine APC one one six zero nine APGA one one APGA one one APM 11, 
APP41, LP06, LP06, NNPP09, NRM05, NRM05, PDP3530, PDP3530, PRP31, PRP31, SDP4904, SDP4904, YPP17, YPP17, ZLP08, ZLP08, total vote, total valid votes, 20384. 20384. Rejected votes 354. Rejected votes 354. Total vote cast 20738. 20738. Thank you. Do you have any record of cancellation? No. Thank you very much. Next is F1. a professor of petroleum geology and environmental geology from University of Ibadan. My name is Oguyoni Florence Omochini, the electoral officer of Eshman, Rome, Florence. I present uh, the Eshman local government area. We have 10 wards in Epon, and um, 119 residential, I mean, registration area. So I present the result. Number of registered, registered voters, 30076, 30076. Number of register accredited one one zero four six one one zero four six votes received by parties A zero two A zero two A is zero four AAC 04, ADC 17, ADC 17, ADP 77, ADP 77, APC 4012, 4012. Huh? We can't hear. APC. Four zero one two. Let it be far from your mouth a little bit. APC four zero one two. Is there an error? ABC four zero one two. Uh -huh. Abga one one. Abga one one. APM zero five. APM zero five. APP 
Our protocol duly observed. My name is Olufemi Olatoye, a professor of veterinary public health and preventive medicine, University of Ibadan. I serve as a coalition officer for the Equity West local government in this gubernatorial election. My EO is here with me. My name is Ali Bissala. The electoral officer of Ekiti West local government, Aramoko. I hereby present the results of the gubernatorial election from Ekiti West local, local government. In that local government, we had 11 registration areas. And the total, total number of registered voters were 59220. 59220. Number of accredited voters 23750. 23750. The votes scored by various parties as follows. Party A, 909. AAC, 26. AAC, 26. ADC, 90. ADC, 90. ADP, 178. ADP, 178. APC 15322. 
Standing on existing protocols, I am Professor Temitayo Abayomi Wimoje, a professor of agricultural and environmental engineering, University of Ibadan. My name is Adifre Manuel Kolusa, the professor of the Thank you. I'm the coalition officer for the Irekwodu. The a fellow the local government area. We have 11 registration areas, and the number of registered voters is 70467. 70467. Number of accredited voters, 24123. 24123. Votes received by parties A five ACC three three ADC one four one A ADP one nine one APC one three one, two, five. Afghan, one, six. APM, two, zero. APM, two, two, zero. A, APP, one, one, two. Hello? APP 112. LP 9. LP 9. NNPP. NNPP. 
NNPP29, NRM20, PDP4712, PDP4712, PRP33, SDP5010, SDP5010, YPP44, YPP44, ZLP15, total valid votes, 23515, 23515, rejected votes, 578, 578, total votes cast, 24093, 24093. There were no records of cancellation in the record, no, the fellow, no, local government area. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Can we have uh, the results? Thank you, bro. Thank you, sir. Next is Oye, Oye local government area. standing on the existing protocol. My name is Mukaila Gbenga Urujide, Professor of Agric Extension, University of Bado. And my EO is here. Um, I go home Sylvester, the Electoral Officer of the Local Government. We have, we have 12 wards in our local government. Number of registration voters, 6517. Number of registration of registered registration accredited, 24925. Sir, please, let's start again. Okay. Can we start again? No problem, sir. Number of registered voters. 65170 number of registered registered uh, registered accredited 24925 then distribution the votes received by the parties a 14 a a c 14 a is 14 one four one four eight a then AAC three four then ADC A three ADP two one zero APC one three three nine six ABGA one seven APM two nine APP 167 LP 12 NNPP 33 NRM 23 PDP 4122 PRP 84 SDP 5391 NPP 32, ZLP 19, total valid votes 23666, rejected votes 836, the total vote cast 24505. There's no record of cancellation. Yes. 
done it for us once again. Okay. No, no, we need to go back. Please, please, just be slow. Slow a little bit. Be slower. Yes, sir. You are too fast. Okay, sir. Number of registered voters, 56517. Number of registered accredited, 24925. Votes received by the parties, A, 14, A, Number of registered voters, 65170. Number of registered accredited, 24925. Votes received by the parties, A, 14. AAC, 34. ADC, 83. ADP, Two one zero APC one three three nine six A Afga one seven APM two nine APP one six seven LP one two NPP three three NRM 23, PDP 4122, PRP 84, SDP 5391, YPP 32, ZLP 19. Total valid votes. Two three six 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 rejected votes eight three six total vote cast two four five zero five rejected votes rejected votes rejected 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 vote is eight three six eight three nine or eight three six eight three six calculate the you can recalculate and then you come back. Go, go and recalculate it. Okay, sir. And then come back. You will come back. Huh? Okay, uh, the next local government is in Dosi. Permit me to adopt the already established protocols. I am Tolu Lokwe Okwe Olua or Shosoya a professor of animal science from the University of Ibadan. And my EO is Kayo Devam Dele, a local officer, Dozi local government. In Dozi local government, we have a total of 11 one, one registration areas. Number of registration areas in Edo local government is one one. Total registered voters five seven seven eight zero. Five seven seven eight zero. Number of voters accredited two three eight four eight. Two three eight four eight. Number of votes per party A zero five zero five AAC 
two zero. Two zero. A D C eight eight. Eight eight. A D P one five five. One five five. A P C one zero three two one. One zero three two one. A P G A two zero two zero. A P M one 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 one. A P P one zero seven one zero seven L P one zero one zero N N P P five two five two N R M three one three one P D P Two eight seven one two eight seven one PRP seven two seven two SDP nine four eight nine nine four eight nine YPP three two three two ZLP Two one, two one. Total valid votes two three three zero five. Two three three zero five. Rejected votes five four one. Five four one. Total votes cast two three eight four six. Two three eight four six. No record of cancellation. However, we have a record of physically challenged that came to vote. And they were in Ward 08, which is Ori Ora Ward. Vi visually impaired, stroke blind, Zero 03 mobility of physically disability physical disability zero 02 art of hearing slash death zero 01 total zero 06 okay you recorded it in this c48 yes sir okay thank you thank now you sir. The, thank you prof Is Oye ready? Yes, sir. Just tell us the rejected votes. Total number of rejected votes. Total, total number of rejected votes is... Okay, start eight. afresh. Start afresh. Okay. <laughs> afresh. Num number, number of Registered voters six five one seven zero. Okay. Number of registered accredited two four nine two five. Vote votes received by parties A one four. A C C. We are not hearing you. Good. You are pressing. A, one four. A, one four. Do it like this. Okay. A, one four. A A C three four. A D C A three. 
Bill DP 210 APC 13396 Afghan 17 APM 29 APP 167 LP 12 NPP 33 NRM 23 PDP 4122 PRP 84 SDP 5391 YPP 32 ZLP 19 Total valid votes 23666 Rejected votes 839 Y total votes cast 24505 That's order of cancellation none Okay, thank you very much. Prof. No, Next. Not giving us the, no, let's have the results. This is our local government area. Thank you very much, sir. My name is Oyewo Olushola Oyeinka, Professor of Communication Language Arts, University of Ibadan. I served as College Officer for Ise Oru Local Government. I come to the top where Oluku is my name. I am the Electoral Officer Ise Oru Local Government. We have 10 words in Ise Oru Local Government. The number of registered voters Four six seven one two. Four six seven one two. Number of accredited voters one seven five three four. One seven five three four. And then we have a distribution of, of votes according to parties. Party A zero four zero four. Party AAC one four one four Party ADC eight two eight two Party ADP one four five one four five Party APC eight zero seven four eight zero seven four Party Afghan two two Party APM eight one eight one eight Party APP one two six one two six Party N N P P zero seven zero seven Party N R M five eight five eight Party P what is that? P D P Party P D P no 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 N R N R N N P I've said N M P P I've said N R M 
Now PDP. Party. Party PDP. NRM. No. I've said NRM before. Party NRM. One five. One five. Party PDP. What to of NNPP? Go to NNPP. What of NNPP? I said that earlier on, sir. Five eight. Okay, NRM. NRM. NRM one five. Okay. Sorry, sir. PDP two five eight eight. Two five eight eight. Party PRP six zero. Six zero. Party SDP five nine zero nine. Five nine zero nine. Party YPP three eight three eight party ZLP one nine one nine total valid votes one seven one seven nine one seven one seven nine rejected votes two nine seven two nine seven total number of votes cast one seven four seven six one seven four seven six any record of cancellation none we have two cases of pwd yes just just two just two cases thank you very much Thank you very much, bro. Check, check from the board, please. Thank you very much. Can we have the kitty? I do a kitty. Ah. This is a uh, person coming is the coordinator of the coalition officers. Thank you, sir. Can we clap for him? He's the coordinator of the coalition officers. Thank you, sir. Just like this. Thank you, sir. I adopt the existing protocol. My name is Wole Michael. Hello, like this, like this. My name is Wole Michael Olatoku. Professor of Information Science, University of Ibadan. And my EA is. My name is Atiyah Richard today. The electoral officer, I don't know how to do it. I can get this is my name. So I was the collection of the office of Adwe Kiti. There were 13 registration areas. The number of registered voters is 179088. 179088. Number of accredited voters 505-92. 50592. Then the votes received by each of the political parties, they are as follows. A49. AAC67. ABC. Four one five A D P seven two eight A P C two three eight three one. I repeat A P C. Two three eight three one APGA seven zero 
APM 62 APP 448 MP 47 NNPP 83 NRM 58 
Tresili. Abga Tresili. APM 9219. APM 19. APP 148. APP 148. LP 14. LP 14. NLPP 37. NLPP 37. NRM 20. NRM 2020. PDP 6266. PDP 6266. PRP 88. PRP 88. SDP 5736. SDP 5736. YPP. 47 YPP 47 ZLP 13 ZLP 13 Total valid votes 29481 Total valid votes 29481 Rejected votes 789 Rejected votes 789 Total vote cast 30270. Total vote cast 30270. There are 11 PWD voters, people with a disability, cutting across a visually impaired, 5. Mobility, stroke, physical disability, 5. Out of hearing, 1. Totaling, 11. There is no case of cancellation. Thank you, sir, and the uh, workers. Did you mention rejected votes? You have rejected votes. Rejected votes, votes uh, 789. 789. Okay. Thank you, thank you very much, Prof. Do you have any cancellation? No any, cancellation. Any, can, any record of cancellation? No cancellation. No. Can we have the results? We are still expecting uh, the results from uh, two local government areas. They are now in Ado. They are now in Ado. <laughs> and uh, Ekiti East. In Ado, uh, I'm sure they will be here in a few minutes. So please let us uh, be patient. So, they will be here in a few minutes. So you can uh, you can use the two, three minutes to stretch your legs. They are already on ground, please. Yeah, but they will need to come. But don't, you cannot, you may not go out, just stretch your legs. And there you have it, back-to-back -back results from 14 out of the 16 local government areas in AKT. We've seen coalition officers coming up with the figures and it's amazing how speedy these has turned out relative to what we've experienced in time past. We're told that there are just two more local government results being expected from Boyi and AKT East local government areas and the coalition officers are already at the INEC headquarters facility in Ado AKT and the exercise is expected to resume very shortly. A closer look at the figures, however, tells you who the real contenders are in this election. There were about 16 candidates, but only three of them have been prominent from the figures thus far, namely the APC, the Social Democratic Party and the PDP in that Order. Now, we reported earlier about an encouraging turnout, but I did mention that only the figures can tell whether or not voter apathy was the experience in this election. And unfortunately, uh, very disappointing, we seem to have another incidence of a situation where less than 50% of registered voters actually did turn out for this particular election. You take Adoikiti local government area, for instance, which I believe has the highest number of registered voters in this election, 179,088 registered voters, but 
only 28% of those who register to vote in the state capital actually turned out to be accredited. So we had just 50,592. And you look at all of the figures, only Ilejimeji local government perhaps had the highest number of turnout. It's not even up to 50%, 44%, some 8,000 out of 18,000 registered voters. So we seem to have a situation where a lesser number of voters are also now determined or determining who the next governor will be in AKT. And it's going to be a talking point in the coming days. It was reported that there was an impressive turnout, but as impressive as it, as it was, we still have less than 50% of the registered voters coming out to vote. And we need to begin to review those processes to be able to scale up the credibility of our elections and having more people participate in the process. But it's been uh, quite a lot of one for INEC in AKT. We seem to have seen a seamless collation process. Uh, just a few cases of reported incidences, particularly in Oye, where the coalition officer had issues with. Uh, there were some discrepancies with the figures as regards the registered, or rather the rejected votes. And we saw that he had to repeat uh, those numbers about two or three times. Apart from that, we also add uh, perhaps the first reported case of ballot box snatching in this election from AKT Southwest, and that was in Ward 6, Unit 5 and 7, where the coalition officer reported shooting and ballot snatching in some two polling units uh, of that particular ward. And it's quite interesting because we haven't reported any of such development in this election. Apart from that, it's been quite, uh, quite a free, uh, perhaps we cannot um, come up to say free for election until we hear uh, a detailed report from election observers. But of course, when you take into account the comments, the reactions coming from the party agents at the INEC headquarters, you can tell that um, it is uh, uh, an improvement from what we have recorded in time past. However, very troubling and disappointing is the fact that we still have less than 50% of registered voters turning out for the election. In Anambra, where INEC had conducted a governorship election some seven months ago, uh, we gave reasons of insecurity, the reality of IPOB in that area, and the lockdowns, you know, the seat at home orders, as why perhaps many people did not come out. We didn't see any security uh, threat, as it were, relative to Anambra in Nikiti, and yet we still do not have up to 50% of registered voters turnout for this election. Another major issue has been um, allegations of vote buying by some candidates in this election. We'll see how all of that play out. Perhaps the, the most um, valuable player in this election will be um, discussed uh, sometime later when we have the official results come in, but it's quite interesting to see how the figures are turning out, a situation where um, you see that um, perhaps um, a new party is rearing its head in the mix, um, given uh, the permutations and the decamping that took place prior to this exercise. We see that the SDP is really scaling up its numbers, uh, even given PDP some uh, run for its money in this particular election. We are waiting to see a complete and official uh, summation of all of these figures. Already we have results from 14 out of 16, and in a few minutes we expect to have the other two local government area results from Boeing and Ekiti East coming. And of course, um, perhaps um, in the next 30 minutes or at most one hour, we should be hearing from the returning officer precisely who has the highest vote in this election and who is going to return elected. But you can pick up your calculations and do the math and also find out um, how much vote is expected from the other two local government areas. And you can, you know, make the call yourself. But we'll have to wait to have an official declaration uh, made from the INEC headquarters. It's been quite interesting, the figures coming up from AKT, uh, popularly known as the fountain of knowledge. And we'll see exactly how voters 
have voted this time. You take a calculation of what the SDP and the PDP had, and you can tell what has happened there, that the opposition has been divided. And just imagine if that did not happen prior to this election, perhaps it will be a different tale that we are telling, because um, it would look like the PDP and the SDP uh, really shared their votes. And if you check a little bit of history, you find out that both candidates in that election belonged to one party until after the primary election, where one of them had to decide to um, try running on a different platform. And that's how it's played out. They say politics is game of numbers, and it's about being able to consolidate and ensure that everyone is together in the same party to be able to stand a chance, particularly when you're running against an incumbent party. Well, it's um, going to turn out just exactly how some have postulated it. And we're also seeing a situation where INEC seemed to have outdone itself, particularly in the seamless uh, way and manner with which the coalition has been done. In previous election, we've had to, you know, take uh, long breaks to wait for coalition officers coming from different parts of the state. There are times when you have to take almost an hour break uh, to be able to have this exercise concluded. But we've had almost, if not more than 80 percent of that done now, and we're left with just two local government areas. Well, in the coming days as well, there will be analyses and conversation as regards how voters have voted and indeed what has motivated or inspired the decision to go this particular route this time. Uh, particularly when you consider the political history in Ekiti, a situation where uh, voters in that part of the country are quite erratic in their decision. They usually do not vote for incumbents. I mean, we've seen uh, twice in, if not three times, if I'm more than that, a situation where the incumbent have had to lose election and the opposition take over. It looks like we'll be seeing, we'll be seeing something a bit different from that in this election. And we're also looking precisely at the numbers of um, cancelled votes, which is quite reduced in this particular exercise. It would seem that a lot of voter education took place. People now know precisely where to place their thumbs and also how to go about um, um, the uh, the the thumb printing on the paper in previous elections we've had uh, some some level of higher rates of council votes as a result of this but it seemed that the electorate is now more educated in this regard and we are even seeing a place where um, uh, um, a place like the state capital Adwikiti with the highest number of registered voters and we're told that there was no uh, occurrence of cancellation and that's uh, quite impressive. You also take a look at some of the interesting figures that we're looking at here in Ijero, for instance, that had over 65,000 registered voters, uh, only 38% accredited vote, uh, votes are being recorded in that area. Ikere has over 65,000 as well, but just 37% of the registered voters turn out to be accredited. It's the same situation across board. 38% for Ijero, 36% for Ikiti Southwest, 39% for Emure, local government area, 38% uh, for Mobas, 37% for Efo, uh, and 39% and for Ikiti West. In a report due on the fellow the local government, 34% of the registered voters were accredited in Oye local government, where 65,000 170 people registered to vote. Only 24,925 people turned out, making 37% of registered voters. In Ido C, the numbers came up to 40% of accredited voters. And in Iseoru, local government area, uh, the number uh, came back again to 37%. Perhaps the most disappointing one would be for Adwikiti, where <clears throat> many of the candidates were looking to are looking forward to you know really raking the numbers of votes uh, from from the highest number from the okay so i'm told that um, our correspondent who is monitoring that development at the INEC headquarters in Adokita is standing by Rafiu Hamid talk to us precisely about what you are uh, what is happening right now um, are those two 
remaining local governments already in the INEC facility, and how soon do we expect um, this exercise to resume? We may have to uh, fix uh, Rafi's audio. I barely heard you. How is it now? Rafi, we can hear you now. Please go ahead. Okay. Rafi, go ahead. Talk to us about how soon we expect the exercise to resume. We're told that there are two remaining local government areas, uh, coalition officers from just two local government areas. Yes. Uh, in Nikiti State, we have 16 local governments, and uh, presently 14 local government returning officers have turned in their results, and we're expecting two. Um, Nikiti State, um, the, the farthest place to this place, I don't know, as we were told, is about one and a half hours. And um, we, in the afternoon, we were at uh, um, um, at our local government, where our uh, former governor of the state, uh, I identify where she came from. And a few minutes ago, we learned that uh, uh, the result of that place, we discovered it was announced. And um, they told us that the two, many two local government will soon be here as soon as uh, the returning officer from those places arrived this way. But as we speak, as you can see from the background, the chief returning officer and the resident electoral commissioner and some other people are not on their seat as we speak. But the journalists, observers, and uh, representatives of various political parties, I mean party agents, they are here waiting for other two returning officers from other lo two local governments to come around and announce the result. And I would think that within the next 30 minutes, uh, according to what the information they gave to us outside when we went out a few minutes ago, uh, the information they gave to us, uh, the returning officers from the two local governments should be here any moment from now. Tell us about the mood in that facility. We haven't heard much from the party agents. What, what are they talking about and what's the mood like? Uh, presently, the situation is calm here. The mood is okay. Uh, you know, uh, political uh, representatives of polit various political parties are talking to themselves. Uh, many of them already having a uh, situation room. They've been having the results uh, from their various uh, situation rooms and they know the result already, but it's not official until it is announced by the officials of the Independent National uh, Electoral Commission. But as we speak presently, uh, only party agents of the political parties uh, are here, and uh, we also have journalists uh, from across the, uh, across the country, uh, also observers. Uh, but the mood as we speak is, uh, is top-notch. It appears there hasn't been much agitation and um, we haven't had much of opposition to the figures that have been reeled out. Are there things, are there conversations going on there that we are not privy to? Have you had any form of protests from, from the party agents so far? The coalition started about three hours ago and um, so far so good. No party agent had complained about the result already announced. Uh, we feel that uh, usually if they have complained, they will have raised their hands. And I know that the chief returning officer will have given them the opportunity uh, to vent their anger or to make suggestions or to make their complaint. But as we speak presently, none of the party agents have lodged any complaint. Uh, and that means uh, they are satisfied uh, with the result already announced. Uh, by the returning officers from every local government uh, that has come to turn in their results. But we still have to, and there is nothing we can do. We still have to wait for the two local government returning officers to come around. Possibly, I know the chief returning officer will also ask them after the, uh, the result might have been announced to talk and to have their complaint. And definitely, at the end of uh, everything, they will still come up uh, to append their signature on the results that will be given to uh, the chief returning officer before it is given to the party agents to take home to give it to their, uh, to their, uh, to their respective political parties. But presently, no complaint as we speak. If you have seen what appears to be a seamless process in the past um, hours, um, a situation where we did not have a break, uh, where 14, when 14 uh, coalition officers from 14 different local government areas uh, read out their numbers. How is this process different from the previous ones that you have monitored 
in time past. All right. We probably will get back to Rafi Hamid. Rafi, if you can hear me, I'm asking how this process, this um, collation process, is different from the ones you have monitored in the past. I'm making uh, particular reference to the fact that we've had 14 uh, results from 14 local government areas without having to take a break. It appears like a seamless process, right? Okay. Quickly, if I got your question very clearly, uh, Okiti State has only 16 local governments. It's different from uh, Undo State. And we believe that uh, as soon as possible, uh, the returning officers that are expected, I think they are around as we speak, will move on after that and uh, we'll give you more updates as regards uh, this election. All right, it appears we have confirmation. We'll get back to you, Rafi, in a short while. It appears we have confirmation that Moi and um, the other local government area, AKT East, uh, that we're expecting are now in the facility of the ANEC headquarters in Adwekiri. It also seems that Rafi is making reference to uh, the number, the total number of local government areas in AKT, which may have contributed to uh, what seemed to be a relatively speedy process we've experienced in the past few hours. Um, in other states where there are more local government areas and in other states where the land masses. Um, you know, wider and larger and a higher population, we perhaps would have experienced more delay, particularly during the coalition process. But they're about to resume that exercise now. Let's find out um, how it pans out. Just two more local government areas to go, and the next governor of Ekiti State would be declared. Please go ahead. Don't you go ahead. Introduce yourself. You will also introduce herself, and then... You continue. Good morning, everybody. My name is Olumide Olajide from the University of Badal, the coalition of for Boyin, local government area. So hold the microphone like this. Okay. Yes. The coalition of for the Boyin, local government area of the state. states. And I have with me the EO for that particular local government. I am Kolade Ayodele Lafonelola, Electoral Officer for Boyi Local Government. Yeah. Thank you. In Boyi Local Government, we have a total number of 10 wards. And the number of total registered voters in that particular local government is 53. 788, I repeat, 53788. Numbers of accredited voters, 20308. 20308. I begin with party A, 1 1. Party A, 1 1. Party SAC 18 AAC 18 ADC 73 ADC 73 ADP 190 ADP 190 a P C one one two four seven A P C one one two four seven Abga A P G A two one A P G A two one A P M one nine A P M one nine A P P one five six A P P one five six L P zero five L P zero five 
NNPP22. NNPP22. NRM16. NRM16. PDP3947. PDP. Three nine four seven PRP PRP four one PRP four one SDP four zero five nine I repeat SDP four zero five nine YPP Two zero <laughs> YPP two zero ZLP two two ZLP two two Total valid votes one nine eight six seven Total valid vote one nine eight six seven Rejected votes, 426. Rejected votes, 426. Total vote cast, 20293. Total vote cast, 20293. I submit that. Is, is there anyone who did not hear him very clearly? <laughs> Is there any record of cancellation? No, no, sir. Thank you very much. For it. Let's clap for him. Results. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Yeah, thank you, sir. Equity is. Equity is. I think that's a look. Last look at the last look. Wow. The Vice Chancellor and Recording Officer. All protocols really observed. My name is Kenny Shuetong, Professor of Veterinary Biochemistry, University of Bado. I am the Coalition Officer for Equity East Local Government. I have with me here the Electoral Officer for Equity East. Um, I don't think that will be the Electoral Officer for Equity East. Thank you very much. Equity East local government has a total of uh, 12 registration areas. Total number of uh, registered voters, 61360. Number of registered you voters. Have to turn the microphone like this. Okay. Uh, yes. okay. Equity East local government has a total of 12 registration areas. Number of registered voters, 61. 360. Number of accredited voters, 24024. I now go to discuss supported by eight parties. Party A, 08. AAC, 012. ADC, 162. ADP, one nine eight APC one two zero nine nine APGA zero two five APM zero one seven APP one four seven LP zero one three NNPP 030 NRM 029 PDP 
means zero. PRP 045. SGP 4982. YPP 049. ZLP 019. Total valid votes. 23065. 23065. Rejected votes. 540. Total votes cast. 23605. Total votes cast. 23605. Thank you very much. Thank you, bro. Any record of cancellation? No, sir. And no PWD. No. Can we have the original copy? Thank you very much.